Street, huh? Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got another nice treat to bring you this week, folks. This is a 1997 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 30th Anniversary Edition. Now this car, obviously <laughs> I don't get a lot of sports car type vehicles in, uh, but this was a local car to me that I bought out of the uh, estate of the longtime second owner of this car uh, last summer. And it was really a fun car, you know, obviously not something that I had before I've ever had, you know, many of these things. Uh, but I, it was kind of like going back to high school with this car because back in high school, this car was 10 years old. So anybody who drove one of these when I was in high school, uh, I graduated in 07, uh, you were pretty cool. I mean, you know, especially, well, you didn't see anybody driving a 30th anniversary. But, you know, there's plenty of Z28s, convertibles, T-tops, whatever. Uh, so I bought this car. I got a great opportunity to buy the car. Um, I had a very dear friend of mine who had always longed to own one of these. Uh, so I basically just sold it to him. Uh, I never even really publicized the car uh, or put it out there for sale. Uh, and now it's time to rehome this car uh, into its forever home. Uh, this car is really... A nice example of a Z28 30th anniversary Camaro. Uh, just under 22,000 miles on this car. Really a nice piece. Signature's 30th anniversary colors. You get the bright white with the orange racing stripes. Uh, those go back over the roof line and then onto the trunk and the rear spoiler here. Uh, and everything is in phenomenal shape. This car has always been garage, always been very well kept, adult owned, adult driven, never thrashed on. This this is a really nice survivor. But at 22,000 miles, the mileage is low that you're buying a nice quality car, uh, but not too low that you'd feel bad driving it, you know, at the same time. So you can enjoy this car. All the decals are in really nice shape. The original GM decals, emblem Z28. It's got the signature white alloy wheels. Uh, last year when I acquired this car, I think it had 17,000 miles. It still had the original tires on it. Uh, I, so I had replaced those. They were pretty badly dry rotted and they were very unsafe. Uh, it really took away, not that these cars ride the best, they're obviously sporty type cars, but it really took away from the ride because you were just thumping all over the place. But really a nice survivor, glass is in nice shape. It's got the original T-tops. You can see that white leather interior with the hound's tooth inserts. I'll bring you inside in just a minute. But I'm gonna show you just a few little things. Body is really straight, really clean on this car. Even the corners of the bumper, the lower edge of the bumper, where you'd probably normally see some rock chips. It does have the two holes here for the um, license plate bracket. It had that on it when I got it. We took it off, it gives it a lot cleaner of a look. And the holes don't look too, too bad. Again, you see that beautiful striping Camaro emblem on the hood there. But the bumper corner is really nice shape. All four wheels are in really nice shape as well. The white wheels, Z28 emblems. One of the flaws I did notice, and it was like this when I bought the car, you can see a little bit of uh, peeling on the inside edge of the, uh, the original orange decals. I'm sure it's probably something that happens to every one of these cars. Uh, just the way the decals were laid down, uh, kind of in that hood scoop area. Uh, nothing really you can do about it. And it's not horrible. You really don't notice it until you're looking for it. But I do want to point that out. Another nice white alloy wheel over here. Come down the side. There's no dings or scratches or anything like that. Decals on the roof are in really nice shape. You know, the decals aren't faded or, or starting to fray up on the edges. Rear glass is nice. Except for this here, you can see this little elbow. This would have joined the two gaskets together. Obviously, over time, it looks like it's shrinking and it's kind of starting to pull up a little bit. It's been like that since I had the car. 
all inside the wheel wells really clean not loaded with rubber that's just a little bit of uh, <laughs> overspray from the uh, tire dressing come around the back here you can see how nice and clean the rear bumper is tail light lenses are in nice shape inside the deck lid uh, spoiler very clean and those deck lid uh, decals are in nice shape as well tail light over here is nice and bright I think there was one a little bit of a chip or something going on right there on the side here inside the fuel filler nice and clean side shows very well t-tops are nice they seal nicely this side is in nice shape really a straight car and even the edges of the mirrors no chips or anything like that it's a really well kept well presented automobile you know that has always been in the right hands you know as soon as you get someone inexperienced or someone who just really wants to thrash on one of these, <laughs> these things don't survive. Let me take you inside, I wanna show you that white leather with the hound's tooth, I think you're really gonna enjoy that. All right, we'll open it up. The doors on this car shut real nicely too, real nice and tight. You can see all the decals inside the jams, the uh, option tag and code, really nice and all wiped out and you know destroyed by harsh cleaners or anything. And inside the jams are in nice shape threshold very clean bottom of the doors obviously they don't rust all the interior paneling is nice no fading or cracking you know the plastic is nice the vinyl is nice armrest is you know nice and tight it's just not loose or worn out got the uh, switch for the mirrors the locks power windows that's pretty much it on the driver's door over here you can see nice and clean the original floor mats are with the car usually I put them in the trunk but there's not much trunk space in this car so 30th anniversary embroidered on the back of the seats got the hound's tooth inserts on the center console shows really nicely the dash is in really nice shape not cracked or dried out leather wrapped steering wheel even the writing like the little hieroglyphics on the uh, stock is all in perfect shape not worn off like uh, you know a higher mileage version would be so the back seat here probably hardly used in a car like this literally buckets to sit in <laughs> Definitely not something I'd want to take on a cross-country road trip, like a town car or a Brome. Uh, but definitely a very, very cool car. Like I said, those doors, they close with ease. Come around over onto the passenger side. I like the white door handles too. Body color matched. Door panel again. Nice shape. All inside the jams are spotless. car was really well cared for like I said you know it's been in adult hands uh, since it was new second owner being a long time owner had this car for many 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 years and didn't put many miles on it like I said I bought it with 17,000 miles just last year all the carpeting is in really nice shape I'll show you the dash a little closer up when I get inside the car beautiful leather seats Hound's tooth inserts. It is a power driver seat, manual passenger seat. Pop that forward. See again, that 30th anniversary. All like the top of the back seat is nice and, you know, uh, soft, not dried out. Carpeting is in really nice shape. Even the backs of both seats. And then uh, headline is in great shape, nice and original tight visors are tight even like these little loops that they put on the visors those usually start to kind of lose the elasticity um, and start to droop down really nice shape there all the glass it's really perfect on this car 
gonna pop the uh, hood in the trunk. I'm gonna take a look in there. I'll put my plate on it. And then we're gonna take this uh, Z28 for a spin. Electric pop on the trunk. Opens right up. Both pistons hold the uh, hatch up perfectly. Again, all inside the jam, nice and clean. Really clean and, you know, just very well kept. Uh, you know, garaged, always garaged. I know when my buddy Paul had this car, you know, only had a garage, he had it covered in the garage. So yeah, you can get a little carried away. Carpeting in the back here is super nice, not dried out. I mean, the sun is beating down on this. And again, like I said before, top of the back seat there is nice and soft as well. This little guy flips up. You have a Delco Electronics uh, CD changer. Does still have the cartridge in there. Close that. This, like I said, is the original license plate bracket with the bow tie. Don't mind my cleaning material here. You can see there, those two slots, uh, those are actually for the T-tops. You can slide the T-tops right in the back of this car uh, and take them off at any time and take them with you and not have to worry about them getting, you know, beat up, just, you know, bumping around in the back. That closes nice and tight. Yep. Come up to the front here, we'll pop the hood. Show you that LT1 V8 under the hood here. Again, hood pistons hold the hood up. There's really nothing that this car, you know, shows much wear on uh, for being as old as it is. Nice and clean under the hood. All the nuts and bolts are in nice shape. Clean plastics, the uh, air intake, you know, even the headlight assemblies, all clean inside there. Still has some of the original tape, warning labels, really nice car. A couple little minor tears on the hood insulation pad, but no, you know, rodents or anything like that chewing on it. That LT1, close the hood down. Let's, uh, let's take it for a spin. I really like driving this car. It's definitely something different than what I normally drive. All right, we're inside the Z28. I just want to show you, I got the original owner's manual here. The owner's manual packet and books. Uh, then I have the original set of keys. I have uh, two original sets of keys, I should say, and one original remote fob and two little bow tie emblems. We'll start this, uh, Start the Z28 up. Definitely get the AC on because it's like 94 degrees out. You can see here, 20, just about to turn 22,000 miles on this car. Uh, you know, it's kind of got like the standard knobs and stuff that you see. This is what trips me up with GM. Like this radio, this radio they put in Corvettes, Camaros. My sister had a 2001 Malibu with this. My dad had a uh, 2000 Chevy Silverado with this radio. You know, just whether you got a CD or a Delco cassette or Dolby cassette, you have the fog light button here. I don't know what this would have been for. Obviously, probably some other option that this car probably could have come with. Uh, I really can't imagine what would have been there. Um, you know, both windows work with ease. And again, those T-tops, really nice and clean. The visors are nice and clean. Like I said, the elasticity of these little bands. Usually these are all drooping down like this. People, you know, tack them up. Really nice and clean. There I am, my sweaty, ugly mug. Dashboard's in nice shape. Doesn't show any signs of, you know, crazy warping or, you know, cracking or anything like that. So let's, uh, we'll, uh, Take it for a spin. This drives nice. Again, this isn't my normal cup of tea, a type of car that I would normally have. Um, but I got an opportunity. It was a local car when I had the opportunity. And uh, a good source told me about this car, um, so I, I had to kind of act on it. Um, you know what I like? I like branching out and trying different types of cars like this. Uh, you know, 
just gets my name out there into different groups and you know different fan bases everybody who owns a town car or a cadillac knows me i mean heck i just i went to a cadillac show just the other day you might have saw the video of it i just posted um and i had to like sneak that video in because as soon as i got there everybody's like you know coming over to me and like hey i, I watch you on youtube i you know i said i see you on youtube everybody was coming up to my dad hey it's papa bear my dad's like i don't know who you are and he just loved it loved every bit of it i should probably put some gas in this thing huh uh, but it, it was kind of cool so the cadillac cult knows me the lincoln town car cult knows me but you know you try something else a camaro or you know anything different is always good to branch out go clutch feels real nice on this car as well let's see if i can shift and do this at the same time almost time for me to invest in some uh professional camera equipment so i don't have to shift shoot and sell at the same time That's, that's where the market is going with these cars. You know, a lot of people are having a hard time wrapping their heads around, you know, a 1997 anything. You know, the Lincoln Town cars. Yeah, I remember when those cars were, you know, $2,500 cars all day long. Um, you know, but the people who had these cars in high school, my age, 10 years older than me, who had them or wanted to have them, you know, they were in college or out of college. And, you know, this car came out, they couldn't afford it. People are buying them now, and that's why the 1980s, you know, the 80s cars, the 90s cars are really coming into value uh, and coming up in value in the last few years. You know, some stronger than others, you know, but basically everything from that era, even, even the unloved cars, you know, it's crazy. You see K cars and, you know, uh, Dodge Diplomats and, you know, uh, what's the, you know, just oddball stuff, the, uh, the malaise era of cars coming into popularity and value. Heck, I just got an email the other day from a guy looking to buy a Cadillac Cimarron. Now, I had a Cadillac Cimarron. I don't know if you remember that or not. Depends on how long you've been watching my videos. But I had a Cimarron. I absolutely hated it. But there's tons of people out there who love them. So, I don't know. It's good. I like connecting with all different types of people. It's, uh, it's a great way to meet, meet new people with these cars. I won't keep rambling on. 1997 Chevy Camaro. She's a Z28, 30th anniversary edition. Uh, really nice original car. Uh, Z28 package, white on white with the orange stripes. Just about ready to hit 22,000 miles. It's got four fresh tires, she's ready to go. My name is Anthony, you can give me a call, 978-930-1004. Take a look down in the description below. You'll see the price for this car. You'll see a link directly to my website with many other pictures. Uh, you'll also see uh, links to my uh, Facebook and Instagram pages. Uh, those will give you more information about all my cars, what's available, what's not available, what's sold and what's not sold. And again, like I always say, don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car like this in your driveway. I can help you with door-to-door -door shipping, whether it's in the U.S., overseas, you want me to export this thing, heck, I'll send it anywhere. If it fits, it ships. 978-930-1004. My name is Anthony. I appreciate everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.